this country deserves proper leadership elected in a democratic way. There will always will be attempts to try to impose leadership on the country through undemocratic ways. We saw it in 2007, and we know the consequences. So it is incumbent upon us as people who are participating in these elections to ensure that we don't have a repeat of what happened in this country in 2007. And that's the reason why we are pointing them out each time they happen. We talked about that issue of the printing of uh, ballot papers. And you now know what happened in 2013. If you ask any of the, those former commissioners of, uh, of uh, the defunct IBC, it will confirm to you that there were two million extra ballot papers which were printed and which were handed over and were handed over then to the director of intelligence and they were marked at the Kenyatta University and they were staffed. And when the computer was rejecting the staffed ballot papers, they crashed the server of the computer. And that's why they delayed the announcing of the presidential results. People who voted on Monday, the results were out on Tuesday, but they were not announced on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, until Saturday, when they were adopting the results. This, 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 uh, these are facts. So we don't want to have a repeat of that again. And that's why we say that ballot papers must be printed by a credible company. And the IBC cannot inform Kenyans that there's only one company in this world that can do the printing of ballot papers. Printing ballot papers is not rocket science. In Ghana, they print them in Ghana. You only fear that if they were to print, be printed here in Kenya, they would do monkey business with it, as you know. But there are several companies in Europe, in Belgium, in Germany, even the UK, which are capable of doing the printing. They have been making some wild allegations that there's a company in South Africa. I've just heard about that company from one Mr. Dooley that they have been funding for that company. I am not that cheap to be involved in tenders for printing of ballot papers. I would never chip that low. So th those are basically diversionary tactics, trying to divert the attention of the, the, the country. That, oh, Cord or, or NASA or so also rooting for another company. We are not rooting for another company. But we told you that there's evidence that this company even played host to the president in Dubai. That is not a secret. It's not a secret. And that they went to State House also, and even you saw the pictures. Now they're telling you, oh, that was a delegation of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, but you c can be a, a head leader of a company. And you're also a, a chairman of a Chamber of Commerce. The chairman of Chambers of Commerce are, are themselves businessmen. Okay.